Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to that time. We've made it to the time. And if you don't know the time I'm talking about, I mean, obviously, you know, because the video and the title and shit like that. But but if you just click on this video because you just click on my videos when you see the video, it's time for the WNBA season. It starts March 15th. What I'm going to do for you guys, because I didn't want this intro to be too long. I didn't want it to be too crazy. We're going to talk about each team. We're going to break down each team. We're going to talk about their coach. We're going to talk about their core. We're going to talk about their young players. And we're going to talk about how they finished the year prior and the direction they're going into. Or I guess you would say the outlook, expectations, and things like that that for this season and going forward simply put i'm putting y'all on game for each wnba team teaching you about who's on the team who runs the team well not who runs the team we're not talking about front offices quite yet maybe we'll get to that point right now not quite yet when i say run the team i mean head coach we're gonna hopefully see if you can find a team that you can align yourself with their fandom that's the overall goal of this video overall purpose of this video i want to put you guys on game with regard to the wnba like i said already it starts may 15th now my original intro it was gonna mention caitlin clark asia reese Camila Cardosa, Cameron Brink, and many, many more. I was going to talk about them, but there's no need to. You guys already know what the uptick in popularity has meant for the women's game and what it's actually looked like. We've all seen it unfold thus far this past year, especially this year with the women's college basketball game. Caitlin Clark has amplified this game to a whole nother level, and it's really, really time for the game to really reach that grand stage. I'm ready for it. I'm sure if you're on this video right now, you're ready for it and you've likely watched the W. Let, let's get on some game a little bit now for me personally just just to be a little candid with you guys because i know i know i don't post wnba stuff so i do have to be candid and you know kind of i i guess this is my way of having some credibility i guess i would say because like i said i haven't really covered it and i don't want to seem like the guy that's hopping on the train just to hop on the train because the popularity wave that is not me i'm not one of those guys i try not to do that granted you do have to do it to some level with this youtube content game kind of thing but with regard to the wnba i want to humbly and graciously like look at me when i say this we are going to continue to follow the w we might have some shorts and stuff regarding the women's college basketball game. I don't even follow the men's college basketball game because there's so many teams, so many places, so many areas. Women's college basketball might be a tad bit easier because it's a lot more uh, focused. It's a lot more, I guess you would say, concentrated with regard to the top talent in one area. You know what I'm saying? College basketball, men's college basketball, that is. There is times where teams are good, players are good, but you don't quite see it because they're their team might not be good or there might be a specific whatever the case is we're gonna stick with the w that's my overall point the women's game is honestly my first introduction to basketball if we're gonna be completely completely honest and kind of you know play the semantics game but i just wanted to provide some type of realm that gives me some sort of credibility hopefully as we get through this series not, not even series get this series specifically but as we cover the w and continue to cover the w you guys will start to see i know what the fuck i'm talking about and to be fair i've watched the w for i can't really say how long i think since lisa leslie's been in the league i got mm, i wouldn't say since lisa leslie i because i was more so a diehard when Candace parker came into the league love that tennessee team but i'm not gonna lie i've done enough yapping up until this point i'm not trying to yap y'all's ears off we're going to start with the Eastern Conference side. There are 12 teams in the W, just so you guys know, six in the East, six in the West. We're going to start with the East, primarily because a lot of the players that I named, Kayla Clark, Angel Reese, Camila Cardosa, they're in the Eastern Conference. Cameron Brink, she plays for the Sparks, so she's in the West Coast. Y'all will see that in the next coming days because this is going to be something that leads to opening day. There might be some double uploads, just know that. But let's talk about the Atlanta Dream, one of the newest if not the newest, I want to say they're the newest expansion teams to the WNBA. Here are your Atlanta Dream. Now, this Atlanta Dream team is coached by Tanisha Wright. This is a three-time Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year, first-time All-American at Penn State, and she has 14 years of experience in the W and two more as an assistant with the Aces before even coming to Atlanta. Now, Tanisha Wright was a first-round pick in 2005 in her own right, no pun intended actually actually pun was very much intended it was intended but i digress right 
She spent 10 seasons with the Seattle Storm, where she helped lead them to nine straight playoffs and a WNBA championship in 2010. Then she played another four seasons for the New York Liberty and the Minnesota Lynx before retiring in 2019. Interesting enough, which is actually kind of cool to me because at first I was like, I don't know how she did this, but I thought about it. The WNBA season starts in May, so it makes sense why she was able to do it. But she began her coaching career in 2017. She started at the University of North Carolina, Charlotte with the 49ers as an assistant before coming to the Aces in 2020. But if you guys were just listening to what I said, she retired in 2019, so she was technically coaching while she was still playing. Now, I don't really recall the back half of her career if she was really playing meaningful minutes, but I mean, it's safe to say she was. This is the W they value and always have valued veterans. Granted, that might need to take a turn in these next couple years or so to see a growth in the league, but we're going to talk about that in another video. Now, overall, she's helped contribute to the growth of the Atlanta Dream and their continued growth since becoming a franchise in 2008. Now, when we're talking about their core and development, the Dream's core consists of Alicia Gray, 2022 first overall pick Ryan Howard and Cheyenne Parker. And to be clear, I am designating core players that were the team's top three scorers. And in the case of the dream, Alicia Gray, she was the number one scorer. But I'm going to talk about Ryan Howard a little bit more in the video because I'm going to be honest, she has potential to be one of the Atlanta's dreams best players ever, but I want to talk about her in a little bit more detail as we get along. Now, when we're talking about Alicia Gray, she's a crafty six foot guard that can score in bunches. She was a top 15 scorer in the league with 46, 35, and 82 shooting splits. And her other running mate, Ryan, is also another top 15 scorer at 13th on the list, scoring a half point better than Alicia while being her backcourt running mate. Now, again, like I said, I'm going to talk about her a little bit more. I don't want to talk about her right now because there's other people to talk about. And truth be told, Ryan Howard is pretty much this team's future, if you want to be honest. Now, the third person that's a part of this core is Cheyenne Parker Tyus, formerly known just as Parker. Now, she's six foot four, the leader of the front court top five draft pick in 2015 and though she's not a top 15 scorer like the other two she does round out the top 25 averaging 15.7 rebounds and two assists she is a vet on this team with nine years in the league going into her 10th which she began overseas and seeing her first appearance in the w in 2015 with the chicago sky on an ever-evolving and growing atlanta dream team now i know i said we're going to talk about ryan howard a little bit more now to be clear it's ryan Ryan Howard, R-H-Y-N-E, not Ryan. Let me just make that clear. Well, I remember watching one of the games that she was really like hooping in. This was against the Sparks. I don't remember what type of time of year it was. I want to say it was early season. Can't quite remember. But last year, she dropped 43 on the Sparks, setting not only a career high, but she was one point shy of setting a new franchise record as a rookie. As a rookie. Do y'all, I don't know if y'all are hearing me right now. As a rookie, she's a flat out beast. She's an all star. She can very easily be the Atlanta Dream's best player in franchise history. And she's quickly quickly on that track so if you don't have a player or a team to really follow this is one of those teams one of those players they have a player who's i don't want to say generational but she's a she's a hooper she's a bucket i promise you but even past that this is a young growing ever developing team if i could say she's like a player i would kind of like her to kd a little bit i i, I like yeah you know what i like that bag for her she's like kd that's a KD bag. Uh, I, I will say I've seen her finish at the cup a little bit more than, you know, what you would see KD finish at the cup. But that's, you know, I'm talking about post Achilles KD. Now, if we're talking about, I don't want to say prime KD, because I don't want to make it seem like I'm really just, you know, amplifying how good she is. Just make sure you guys remember we're keeping it in scale for the women's basketball game. If you look at her, she hoops like that. She's a bucket like that. This is a team that you can gravitate towards. Now, moving past Ryan Howard and her greatness, bucket getting abilities, we can't get ahead of ourselves because I know we love basketball. 
I love basketball. So I get excited talking about these players, talking about these teams, whether it's WNBA or NBA. And I know that excitement might be able to be misconstrued as this team is good. This might be one of the best teams in the league, et cetera, et cetera. I just want to say that's not the case. This is a team with a great future. Eight of their 15 players, they're within five years of their career. Seven of them are within their first three years of their career. So this is a team that's ever growing and still has time and development ahead of them. Now, despite the super team era officially hitting the WNBA, to me, it's clear the Atlanta Dream are still building. They're a young team up and coming. But unfortunately, aside from the players that I've already listed, there are a lot of newcomers to this team. So while this team won't be looking to contend, they will be looking to compete throughout the season as they did last year, finishing fifth with a 19 and 21 record making the playoffs. Now, granted, they were swept in the first round to the Dallas Wings. And if you're looking for a team to root for that is an underdog and an up and coming builder, this is one of those teams. They still compete and they're still an entertaining team to watch. Now, for you NBA guys out there that it's kind of hard to envision it, it's kind of hard to see it because I, I, I get it. Sometimes when someone's telling you about a team or a player or whatever, it's hard to know without watching. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I like to liken this team to a team like the Orlando Magic. This is a team that can make the playoffs. This is a team that can compete with you on a night to night basis. But this isn't a team that's coming out of the first round yet. We know they're going to come out the first round. We know they're going to compete at some point. But right now, right now is not quite their time. They have their piece. They need to build and go forward. So that's that's kind of how I look at this Atlanta Dream Team. They have a lot of young budding talent. Ryan Howard is one of those players that as soon as I watched her, she jumped off the page, not page, jumped off the screen. I think this is one of those teams that even myself will, I, I find myself enjoying watching their games and tuning in even when the aces aren't playing if y'all didn't know the aces are my favorite team despite not having a top 10 player in the league on their roster quite yet because i think ryan is on the way to that this team is still a team to expect to give other wnba teams problems now of course the w is still in the training camp phase right now so there are some people that can fall off of this roster but this roster doesn't have a large veteran presence so this team is gonna be a team that's figuring it out for the next two to three years in my opinion now before we close out this video i do want to give you guys a little bit more insight into the dream itself you know because i don't think it stops at the players and the and uh you know jerseys and stuff like that it's also the fan base the fan base is a big has a big uh a, a big responsibility in not only cheering on the team but when it comes to new coming fans is that a fan base i want to join is that a fan base i see myself part of or and if you guys don't think that way by all means let me know i think that way personally and this atlanta dream team they led the wnba and sold out games in 2023 so they have fans that are lit there you could call them the most lit fans because they sold out the most games last year I don't think it was all 20 games, but they sold out the most games. They have seven Friday night games. They have two games against the defending champs. Year three for two-time All-Star Ryan Howard. Like, this team, they're ready. They're ready to compete. It's time. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. My battery is about to die anyway, so I think that's it's time for me to go. If y'all appreciate, like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe heavy emphasis on the like and comment so that i know you guys like and appreciate videos like this so i can continue to make them until next time is your boy tb with the greatest hoop stories in the base on the tube i love all you guys and i'm out peace